Hello, it's two o'clock in Europe and you're watching Dokri42 on Twitch. So yesterday we stopped here in the entrance in area in the lodge and um, we, we've been asked to go to the nursery. Let's see where that is. This one's finished. Everything is cleaned up again. Very nice. After we made such a mess. Let me first check if my stream is doing fine. We are live and the picture looks good. Good. So I guess they make it simple for us. And we just go to the next door. See That's there. called a shaska, a Russian sword. Very what? popular with those bloodthirsty Cossacks. Where is the shaska? Oh, up there. Okay. Fun fact. <laughs> So, that's not the nursery, and it's most probably not in the basement. Oh, we have the next mission. In this room yet. So this is more like the dining room. Welcome to the dining room. Okay. It was a sight to behold back in its day. I can tell you. Hmm. <laughs> There's weekly stuff again. What else is moving? Wiggly stuff. So, where does the electricity come from anyway? wrong this, this is a nothing so what else do we have Listen. it looks like this socket needs a three prong wedge connection this one is a piece <laughs> making a big mess again I thought you were a piece you're not which one was A straight one. Okay, let's see. What else? So, this, this is the piece I could need here. Yeah. Ka-ching. Well done. So, 
this one. Hmm. No. This is not what I need. That's good. Nice work. We're getting there. straight a corner and a straight look around <laughs> I don't need you but I need you stop wiggling okay what's next oh <laughs> Straight one. Figuring it out. Yeah, yeah. What are you? Three. Can I put you back? <laughs> and you straight one. You a wiggly one. That's a corner. Oh, is this what is a straight one? Not this one, something behind. Hmm. What is there? Hmm? Tiny, where do you go? Somewhere over there. stuff here Doo -doo -doo. so this looks quite complete but the three piece that was this one Ooh. you go in Is it complete? We shall go back to those evenings we spent out here with our friends. Not yet. Goodbye to the day. What are you saying? What's up? <gasps> so something's missing. Nearly there. So this goes to the table, but something's missing. Here, this here. A straight one. Straight. <laughs> hmm. Nothing else? <gasps> Box. No, Let's see what's wrong with this circuit. It looks like this socket needs yeah, yeah. connection. Still working on it. Yeah, I know. I need a straight one. I will find it. I saw it somewhere. No. You just showed it to me and I wasn't watching. Something here. Where do we find you? Oh, 
so sure I I missed you. I missed you. That's the one. Ta-da! The first one is green. I wish we had burned all our notes on this bloody parallel project. We should have left well enough alone. Watch the China. That's delicate stuff. Um, sorry. I didn't break any of the China yet. Yet. <laughs> so, where we continue, we continue over there. So, what do we need? It was supposed to be a German ship, but after World War II, Germany had to surrender the ship to the USSR as war reparation. Memories, huh? So, we need a corner piece. We had so many. That's not a corner piece. That's not a corner. That's also not a corner piece. That would be funny if that's the Let's one. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. This socket is yeah, a, it's a corner bit. piece. Where did you want me to put it? Here. <laughs> so this feeds into the the painting. A giant painting. That's another corner piece. That's yeah, you want to show me. I see. I think I see, but I cannot grab it. That's one we had over there. We don't drop it. Come on. <laughs> this book tries to escape from me. Don't run away. I got you. <laughs> so we have another corner piece over there. Destroying everything. Chicka boom. Oh. Wherever this feeds to. And the straight one. Oh. That's the straight one. <laughs> I'm too lazy to walk around, huh? Lazy girl. That's a creepy picture. <laughs> Ooh. I don't have to walk around. I can do everything from a distance. Is it this one? Y yeah. No, come on. And the Y shape one. Why not? Why? Why? This is the Y. Hmm. And the corner piece. Hello? 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 Do I have one left? Pretty sure I have one left. This could be one. So, where did you go? Oi, oi, oi. All the way up there. There you go. Huh. Oh. I'm breaking my neck looking upwards. Um. Then it goes, what? It goes in circles? Where does it go in circles? What's missing? 
I can ask my little friend. Let's take a look and see what's wrong. It looks like this socket needs a oh. T-shaped connection. I missed those ones from there. A uh, straight one and then a T-shape. Where is the straight one? Found it! <laughs> right in front of me. Thank you. And then we need a That's straight one. Going. A straight one. Come on, there must be one left somewhere. No. I couldn't have spent everything. Are you alive? No. I need a straight one. There, in the back, maybe. There it is. Whoop. Let's see what's wrong with this circuit. It looks like this socket needs a straight connection. I have it. Ching. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so everything's available again. Ships mass with those in the picture on the wall. So I can remove those. That's all the masks I have. So I, it's the first ship, I guess. No, it's not. Is it? Interesting. So, oh, it snaps back. Is it only these three positions I have? Okay. It looks pretty much like the first one. Yeah, this one is kind of grayish blue, maybe. So it should be the left one. And I thought it would be right this way. I thought it was already okay. Oopsie. It's not right this way. Ah, okay, I have to do it for all of them. So this is the right one, the darkish one. So all these are wrong, and there is the other ship, and there is the blue ship. So all these pieces go to the other side. Remember, each of the ships has a different colored hull. Oh, behind the furniture. Oh dear. Oh, which one is the front? <laughs> Why can't I just put it somewhere else? I put it right here where I can grab it later. Okay. 
So, this one... Go what? Go away. This one goes right in the back. Very, very back. And... No, come on. Give it to me. This one is this. And the white one. No. Yeah. The red one is blue with stripes. This one, I guess, goes to the front. And black and white is the metal. And completely blue is the back. Okay. They renamed her after a German explorer who worked for the Russians. Just as this German ship we now work for the Russian fleet. Nice work. <laughs> okay. No, oh, the, the red one. Oh no, the... what? So this is the red one, the one in the front is this. Check. The second one is... Hmm. Just this one. And it's quite, quite in the back. So what else have we got? The dark one. <laughs> Let's see if we have everything now. So the dark one has this one in the front. And this one nowhere because no it's in the back. That's okay. Right. And then we have one left. The red one that's over there. <laughs> so, are you happy? Yay, everything's green. Just checking if there's anything wiggly or see, it starts, it's a real monitor, it says something. <laughs> Found another one. But nothing else is moving here. No time to waste, Miss. Go to the room barometer. Yeah, yeah. You such in such a hurry. This is quite nice. Could this be a good thumbnail? <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. See what we got here. Tell Another key. Why are you in such a hurry? Are you alright? You don't sound too great. Ever since we started these chats, I had some odd symptoms. Don't know why. Uh, Patterson, tell me something. What year is it? Um, 2017, of course. 2017? That, that means I've been down here for 64 years. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> horrible. Patterson, you're the only one that even knows I'm down here. If you leave, you have to promise me that you won't leave me here. That you'll help me get out. Yeah. Yeah, of course. No sweat. Do you have a key for me? Yeah, right here. Hold it out, if you would, so I can activate it. Oh, you found the Eiffel Tower key. Another memory of my time with Rena. Tell me, Patterson, have you ever been in love? Hmm. Once. Didn't end well, I take it. I don't want to talk about it. Better to have loved and lost than never loved at all. Isn't that what they say? I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe it's a foolish sentiment. I miss Rena so much it hurts. Sometimes I almost wish I'd never met her so that I wouldn't have to feel this way now. Do you want your medicine? I do. Let's see. So, I worked with machines, of course, and Rena worked with the mind. She and I saw them as the same, in a way. She was absolutely obsessed with the idea of black box events. What? You mean like in an airplane? Sorry. You know, how they have black boxes on planes now. How they record everything that happens in a flight? Really? They do? Oh, fascinating. <laughs> yeah. It's how they figure out what happens when planes crash. I see. <laughs> what a clever idea. There have been a few innovations since my day. But no, when I say black box, I mean it in the sense of a process that is hidden from the observer. Something goes in and something comes out, and we don't know what occurs in between. We see this with machines sometimes. The inventors place part of the equipment inside a so-called black box to protect the content from operators who might misuse it, or even break it. Rena wondered if such black box events take place in the mind, and if so, how and why. Do you have any more by any chance? That's very good. Yes, um, how to explain. Here, um, I'll give you an example. Have you ever driven home and when you pull into the driveway you realize you don't remember how you got there? Yeah, sure. Of course, it's happened to us all. The human brain can go on autopilot, can't it? What do you think happens when we are asleep or hypnotized? I'm not sure. Your mind kind of turns off? No, it never turns off. Not until the day we die even when we are under anesthesia or in a coma. More, please. <laughs> Where are you? I'll Hi, tell you a secret. A Doctors person. don't like people to know this, but they have absolutely no idea how anesthesia works. None at all. All they know is that the gas goes in and the lights go out. <laughs> For a guy with possible brain damage, you sure do know a lot. <laughs> Not nearly enough. I want to learn as much as I can about your mind. That's what Rena kept asking. She wanted to know, where does the mind go? Um, depends on how much you've had to drink. <laughs> yes. well, there's one thing I know for sure. We certainly managed to find a way into the problem. It was wonderful. And then it went pear-shaped. But there's still time to fix it. There has to be. Bring me more. Then we can get Rena, one way or another. about the way he talks about his wife. She's the key to this whole story. I need to figure out what he's not quickly. telling me. My readers are going to want to know the truth. I want to know the truth. Maybe Talbot's got something locked away in the black box of his own mind. If he does, I'm going to get in there, see what's inside. The conservatory is just through here. Oh dear. Oh dear. There's a heart. 
so much stuff here. Perhaps we can close the windows. I would love to close the windows. I cannot. Nothing like enjoying a cold beer and olives like an Italian when it's middle of February out here. That's interesting. Gives the subconscious a chance to work things out. It would be nice if it's not so windy in here. Oh dear, you're too close. It's lovely year-round, frankly. Feels like something out of a fairy tale. I'm more thinking of the Wizard of Oz. Mostly just napping. So, this here looks good. What does it do? Strange how hard it is for us to remember our dreams. Hard. They seem so very vivid in the moment. What's going on here as well? So much we can see. It's difficult to see the things that are moving because so much is moving. Or something moving. Okay, what else needs to be done here? Just this heart piece, whatever this is. I uh, think we need to close the window to stop this tornado. That would be nice, but I don't know how. It wouldn't let me. Can I? No. It doesn't work like this. And I wouldn't be able to reach this one anyway. So. That was something we really What else? So you need to complete the circuit first. Yeah, I'm just searching for your memories, so don't complain. Oh dear. It's a good place to get a respite from cold winter this weekend up here. Take that object, the one with the gear symbol, and pop it on to one of the gears on the floor. Give it a spin and see what happens. That's a gear on the floor. Okay. So I have one here. Weak. I will put it there and give it a spin. Oh. Good. Now, let's get the other windows closed while this piece settles. So which one closed? So we have a new circuit to do. And this time it's asking for... Oh dear, so many. There is the Y-shaped thing. Nice music again. Oh, it goes outside. It's kind of a T shape. Don't you move? Come on, don't you move? Oh, so you are moving. T shape. So, where is the T shape? Still so much noise here. 
That's a t-shirt. Come on. And it goes. There. Go away. Stuff. Wrong direction. Okay. So there is another one of those. Why do we have more of this? I'm pretty sure I saw more. Is it always the same? It's only more. Ah, this one turns. Next, so here's another card. Where do you go? To line up the wires. What? Line up the wires? First of all, I need this one. I'm not there yet. I still need a corner piece. That's not a corner piece. That's a corner piece. Really. Oh, come on. Oh, are you too heavy? Oops. Take him a long way. So... So I can see better. That's how we do it, I guess. And the windows don't close. So we did it. The object. It's an angel. It's not an object. Well, it's an object as well, but... So... A corner piece. Goes up there. <laughs> this is so weird and why shape why why not a why shape there it is <laughs> oh, I lost it. And the straight one was close. <laughs> and a straight one. So this one. Yeah, we did it. So we have to... I heard something. Take that object, the one with the gear symbol, and pop it on to one of the gears on the floor. Give it a spin and see what happens. I haven't... Ah, oh, that's why I haven't found it. It was there all the way along. So... Okay, but first I will have a look if something else is wiggling here. There, see? There is another one. Oh dear. Which one is it? I'm searching for your memories. 
Let's see here. Looks like all systems go. The room barometer will take you back to Talbot. Hello? Is there a memory left? What a mess I made here. Such a mess. It's a quite beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, coming. I'm just looking around. See, we found another key. So, what will you tell me now? Hello. Still hanging in there? I'll let you be the judge of that. Here you go. Hmm. How was the search for the keys coming along? A smart girl like you is probably quite good at solving these circuit problems. Found three so far. You sure do have a funny way of protecting things. Couldn't you just use a safe like a normal millionaire? I could, but those things are surprisingly insecure. Some secrets need to stay secret. What did you see on the key? Looks like some kind of jewel. Another reminder of your wife, I bet. Let's see it. If you would be so kind, then I can activate it. I don't know what this is. That jewel is a reminder of her parents, actually. They were from Russia, you know, royalty before the revolution. They were very proud of their heritage and very disappointed that their daughter married someone who was so beneath her. <laughs> a lowly mechanic. But where are they now? Dead and gone. And I'm still here. More or less. <sighs> Enough of that. I want to talk about Rena. A brilliant woman. Knew everything there is to know about psychology. Ugh. I take it you don't care for therapists? <laughs> no, they give me the creeps. I don't like how they try to get into your head. Have you ever worked with one? Man, you ask a lot of questions. Here, take your medicine. <laughs> to make him shut up? Ah, that doesn't mm. work. Rena wanted to know why we even have an unconscious. Why do we repress memories if there are things we want to forget? We bury them deep inside. It's a strange survival tactic. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. Nothing bad's ever happened to me. Hmm. We should all be as lucky as you. More, please. Rena and I theorize that since everybody has this ability to compartmentalize, all human minds must all be structured in similar ways, almost like machines, sharing an operating system, if you will. And if the mind is like a machine, perhaps we could go under the hood like a mechanic, take it apart and put it back together again. That sounds really dangerous. It was. It is. I mean, look at me. <laughs> but that's the price of progress. I imagine you're out of those lights, eh? I am. Then please, go gather more. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, find another one of my keys for the lab. We'll need them in short order. I'm too close. all that stuff about the unconscious let's talk about this story it's big it's worth money you can make bank with this who should i call the news no i should get an agent that's where the money is yeah it's smart so let's see what notes can i take i need reminders for the blog hmm. rena's family is from russia they were wealthy she was all about psychology and so is talbot i guess and they think the brain is a machine. These people are crazy. 
Not so much. What's in the kitchen, I wonder? There's a kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. I don't know where the kitchen is. I I remember where the kitchen is. That's funny. In VR, you really remember much better than in other games where you went because you really have a sense of presence. I hope I'm not wrong. Oh, this is so nice. If, if I had Russian money, I would buy such an estate, such a beautiful old building. If I was a Rus Russian oligarch. Oh no. So, I remember... This room is full of mementos from Russia. Even those chandeliers are from the motherland. How okay. they got it here without breaking it, I'll never know. That's not the door. Okay. So where are we going? You completed the circuit. Where do we need to go? Oh, I found one. Where's the kitchen? I was assuming next to the dining room, but... Perhaps it's downstairs? Really? No way. You wouldn't put the kitchen downstairs. But you would put it next to the dining room. <laughs> That's funny. I remember that this one was giving me a hard time in the beginning. This is the first time I had a difficulty. So, if this is the dining room, then perhaps the kitchen is down here. Are you sure? This looks look more like the basement, the secret basement where you have your laboratory. It's a kitchen. Okay. So we are in the kitchen. You know what room this is, of course. You asked me to come here. Hope you're not hungry. There's not a bit of food left in here. Did you move? Yeah, whoops. <laughs> okay. This kitchen has some of the latest innovations. <laughs> Built-in appliances and so on. Let's see what it looks like this socket needs a straight connection. Okay, you are in a hurry. But you also need your memories. Here's the object you are looking for. This is a nice oven. Okay, we need a corner piece. Does it fit in here? No. It does. Okay. And the straight one. I don't know what you're doing. I'm, I'm working already. I'm doing the best I can. And that's a pressure point. Something needs to go there. That has nothing on it. Could it be? Oh. So... That's a straight one. 
point. You really fit in there. Okay. We're almost there. <laughs> We're getting started. Another pressure point. Give me some heavy stuff. Is this heavy? It's heavy enough. Nicely done. This looks heavy. Oh, you're figuring it out. Oh. Green. This is still green. And corner, please. Ah, oh, there it would have been. Yeah, it's not that bad. Figuring it out. Is this really heavy enough? Nice no, work. it's not. I need something more heavy, heavier, heavier. Or oh, I can stack on top. No. You're, it out. You're repeating yourself. So give me something very heavy. That looks very heavy. Is it heavy? Heavy enough? No, it's not. So I stack something on top of it. It's not heavy enough. Come on, what's heavy? <laughs> you are jumping. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly stuff. So, give me some heavy furniture. That's not heavy. That should be heavy, but, well, not in this game. Now it's happy. That's funny. Okay, what else? What else do we have to do? Tell me. What's missing? I'm standing on top of it. This one is green, so what's missing? Oh, all right. It looks like this socket needs a straight connection. How do I do that? This here can be moved? Are you kidding me? And then we put it there. If this is not heavy enough, I don't know. We need a straight one there. And it's over there. Then it goes down to the basement. Where does this one go?
the last one you have to hold. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're saying, huh? So, our Y piece is not to be found anywhere. There it is. That's a pressure point here. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. That's just bad. <laughs> oh, and another white piece. All right, let's see what the yeah, problem I've seen is, it. But I moved it again. That's that's the only thing. <laughs> that's the stuff. <gasps> Yeah. Let's see what's wrong. It looks like this socket needs a forked connection. Oops. <laughs> so this will be, I guess, the last pressure point I have to press. That's it. Oh, don't, don't you move. No, it's not yet. Hey. Huh? I just want the plate. Looks happy. Is this the last one? No, it's not. Not yet. Let's Tell see what's me. wrong with this circuit. This one? It used to be okay. That's it, keep going. Used to be okay, and then I moved it. Yay! The last one. Over there. Oh dear. Lots of wine bottles. So we don't need this. And. That's a pressure point. Oh, gee. So I have to find a lot of wine bottles. But these are not the right ones. Mm -hmm. How many? I need two corner, two straight, three corner. Wrong. 
That's not wine bottles. Whoopsie. And I put them on the table to find them back. Who else is here? That's something. Which one moved? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, you are one as well. <laughs> you are one that I need. And you're also wiggly. What are you doing there? Why are you so jittery? Somebody else? You are moving. And I need you. You come with me. Choink. Fell on the ground. There is more. But how many do I need? I lost track. Do I need some in here? Something in here? I need two pressure points there. And there is nothing in here. No, nothing in here. Those are floating. That's funny. No longer. <laughs> Anything else here? You come with me. And I guess this would be... Oh, does it fit? Yes. <laughs> that would be la the last one. Another memory. Are you the memory? Yep. Okay, you come with me. Oops. And we'll, then we see what we can do there. Corner piece. A straight one. And the rest is figuring it out. Corner pieces. missing here. I cannot see it. A pressure plate. Pressure. Screen. It's happy. Can I press the table here? Do I have to? Whoa. Oh yeah. That's okay. Keep going. That's what I had to do. Oh dear. So we're done. Everything green. Oh. Dear.
<laughs> I make a mess. <laughs> Demolition girl. You go away, away, go away. <laughs> so we have another piece and it's a brain. You found another key. This one has a brain on it. Charming, eh? You know, Rena kept an actual human brain in her office. Got it from medical school. Very. Actual brain ball. You remember such random things. Don't we all? Hold <laughs> out your hand, please. There we go. Now it's activated. Shall we begin? And by that I mean, would you please give me a dose? So, we came up with this plan to build a machine that would be a transport device, like a ship or a plane. But instead of taking us around the world, this machine would take us inside, into the human mind. We wanted to test our theory about how the brain is built much like a machine. More, please? We had only the vaguest idea how to proceed. We built dozens of prototypes, and they were disasters. They'd malfunction, blow their fuses, short circuit, but we couldn't give up. What did those machines actually do? I mean, were you drilling a hole into people's skulls or what? No, no. At first we built a sort of headdress. The one you are wearing right now, in fact. It was difficult to wear, as you know, because it completely blinded the test subject while they were using the machine. But it worked. <laughs> It opened a window, I suppose you could say. We were able to pair electrical impulses, and that created the connection. We were able to look through a portal and actually see into another person's mind. What did you see? Mm. <laughs> Do you want more? Yeah. We saw how the mind worked. It was like watching a movie. But the movie was another person's thoughts and memories. I saw some things I wasn't meant to see, I suspect. But we were off to the races. Go, find another key and bring it back so I can activate it. Go on now. starting to sound like a science fiction movie. How did they figure all this stuff out? I mean, they're from the 1950s. If even half of what he's telling me is true, this is... <laughs> I don't even know what to think. This is hurting my head. Not sure how I'm going to write about looking inside other people's brains, but I guess I'll figure it out. Let's take a look at the ballet room. Welcome to the ballet room. You had a butler? We never had a ballet, of course. Never needed one. But you had a room. It was the room where your wife had to do her chores. Yeah, because you never helped with the chores, that's why. And God knows we had plenty of other rooms. Why is it jumping there? I see something. Oh, it's tiny. What else? Can you imagine a grown man allowing another grown man to shave his face and dress him? As if he were a child. <laughs> it's absurd. Oh, it looks like this socket needs a straight connection. I will come to that shortly. I thought I saw something here moving. Here's a 
is the object you are looking for? I'm not looking for any objects yet. Not just yet. I found many objects already. Straight, there. straight line. <laughs> Can chew to everything. So we have a straight one here. Oh, I thought this was the straight one. It's not. That's the one. <laughs> sure. But I suppose it was a mark of prestige and wear. Who am I to judge? Nice work. Already? I haven't done much. not complete. It's just... Ah, there it is. So, a straight one. She's still wobbling. That's the one. Oh! Get, get out there. Come on. Does it stop the wobble? Okay. A tiny T shape. What are you? Straight one. There is no straight ones here. A tiny, tiny T shape. them. <laughs> it's not that easy. Come on. Okay, you go. Why do I keep on dropping you? Very good. And another one of these. So what's happening now? Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. So it's not on this side of the room, but somewhere else, outside of the room. But this one is here. I can shove it under the bed without destroying everything. This is the next room, but this? This looks so much as if as if it was here. What? Once you've completed the circuit, you'll be ready to go back. <laughs> That's an evil laugh. Oh, there is already... What? It's already there. Make a difference, okay. There are more circuits to complete here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm on it. Oh dear, so much to do here. It 
doesn't look like. Okay. <laughs> There's only a way to stand here. Huh? Did I get the wrong one? That's the right one. Okay. A straight one. I have to really have to stand somewhere else. <laughs> Another straight one. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. What a mess. It's weird because it looks like something needs to be done. But then there's an oh no. No idea. Come on, put it away. So what needs to be done here? Looks like this socket needs a straight connection. Really? I don't see anything here. It's broken. Okay, let's find a straight connection if you say so. Let's Found it! Yeah, I know. But I don't see it. Ah, there it is. <laughs> And this one? Let's see what's wrong. It looks like this socket needs a straight connection. It's hardly visible for me. So this one is good and this one needs another straight. The angle is difficult. This optic will help. This is also good. Figuring it out. And this one is a T connection. Already correct? That seems like. So, what's next? What else do we have to do? There. There is something. Okay. And again, it's something I have to put there. Where it's not visible to me. So I have a straight connection that goes, for example, here. Very bad to see. A T connection. Whew, what a mess. <laughs> oh dear, so bad. A T connection goes there. And this one is a, is a corner piece. Okay. Where are you going? Yeah, yeah. And another corner piece. Corner pieces, where are you? That's another corner piece. This one is also another corner piece. Then this one must be. Also not. Damn it. Hello? You are a corner piece. And you go where? I forgot already. Oh dear, there's more. Oh 
Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Oh dear, I haven't seen all this. Oh my gosh. Let's take a looks like this socket needs an elbow connection. It's called an elbow. It's not a corner piece, it's an elbow connection. Oh, you're figuring it out. Found it. Well done. Elbow connection. There's another one. And it goes up here. Oh, We're almost oh. there. Oh dear. And a T connection. Gotcha. That's right. What what's next? Uh, oh I saw something. Hey, T, 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 T. That's not T. We had so many. That's a T connection. <gasps> What's next? Nicely done. <laughs> a big what? <laughs> um, uh, this one. Oh, go away! All that stuff. Go away! I need you. No, you are not. Ah, that's the wrong one. Stupid me. That's the wrong one. I know I have seen you around. Come on. Okay. You've got it. Really? Something's missing. Something is missing. What is missing? I know something's missing. Something must be missing. There is always something missing. Once you've completed the circuit, you'll be ready to go back. I am still trying to find out what is missing. So this one is not fired up completely. So perhaps I did not put this right. No, I, one of those is not right. No, one of those is missing. Oh, oh. So, we need another elbow shaped. Now we're done. Come on. No time to Go to the room barometer. And we found another key piece. A wrench. Which key is this? The fifth. You're more than halfway there. Let's see the latest one. Okay, I can show you. There it is. A red controller. Hmm, that's odd. Don't remember that one. <laughs> Does it remind you of anything? Hard work? <laughs> not really. It's your key, not mine. It's just that you're very mechanically inclined. My father was the same way, you know. Could fix anything, but terrible with money. As was I, until I met Rena. So, let's see what we discover today. A motorbike. Show me more. Ah, oh, right. The Mine Palace. Have you ever heard that term? Of course. No. 
You create a series of locations in the mind where you can store information that you want to remember. The ancient Greeks used it to memorize long speeches, things like that. They'd think of a place they knew, and they'd attach memories to the specific locations or rooms. When they thought of the location, that triggered the specific memory. Here's the amazing thing. When we went inside people's minds, we discovered that people intuitively create mind palaces for all their thoughts and memories. It's the mind organizing itself, but it's more than that. More, please. Oh dear, that doesn't look good. Do you really want to remember? Rena and I could look inside these palaces and explore, watch people's thoughts and memories. But we soon discovered that parts of these palaces were blocked off. We couldn't access them. We wanted to, of course, but we could only look. We couldn't touch. Why would you want to? Those doors are probably closed for a reason. If you could share a bit more, I'll try to recall. You're messing with me. Our theory was that things get trapped in the mind. The mind becomes a sort of prison. A trained professional could go in there and set the patient free. Doctors could enter the minds of comatose patients, heal from the inside out. We could bring unconscious conflicts out into the open and help people solve their problems in a matter of hours rather than years. It could mean the end of so much needless suffering. But invading someone's mind like that? How is that okay? Don't knock it till you try it, my dear. Uh, you should go. We'll talk more later. <laughs> okay. There's something that guy is not telling me. I don't think it's some memory he's lost, either. I think he's intentionally hiding something. Are we really going to be able to bring him back into the real world? Is that even possible? I wonder what he looks like. I wonder why I don't know what he looks like. I mean, I've been all over this house practically, and I haven't even seen a single picture of him that I know of. What is going on here? I've got to get a picture of him for the blog. Perhaps that's his picture. Let's go to the nursery. You said that before. We will do that tomorrow. Okay. So, we explored a lot. But time's up. So we will meet again tomorrow, 2 o'clock. No, it's weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. We will meet again on Monday, 2 o'clock. On Twitch. Dokri42 and uh, if you want to see these videos anytime later well they're also stored on Twitch but you will find them in uh, YouTube on my channel Credo the Game Cat so enjoy your weekend and see you again Monday 2 o'clock bye bye